Welcome to the home of 100 to 1 Faith TV. I'm Larry Jant, and this is the message for Grace Hartwood United Methodist Church on January 31st, 2021. Gospel music on the crooked road. It's the fifth Sunday of January, and we try to do something a little different on those days. We've taken some musical trips around the world in previous months, but right here in Virginia, we've got a road that winds its way through American music, and that includes gospel. Highway 58 runs 508 miles from Virginia Beach to Bristol, Tennessee, making it the longest highway in the Commonwealth. It's also known as the Crooked Road because, well, it's a road and it's crooked. Since 2004, it's been designated a Virginia Heritage Music Trail, but music has been flowing along that line for hundreds of years. Let's start our journey today with a word of prayer. Lord, you've given us a glorious new day. As the sun came up this morning, all creation sang your praise. Lift up our hearts to join that unending song and put the melody of praise in our souls. Amen. American gospel music is rooted in the South. There's a reason for that. In New England, the Puritans thought singing harmony or playing instruments was too proud and uppity, just too Catholic. They had four or five tunes they would use to sing scriptures, but there was no music leader as such. Everyone would sing at their own tempo and often in different tunes altogether. The result was not melodious. Gospel music did eventually come north, but it was born in the south. So let's start our musical journey in the far southwest corner of Virginia, over near Bristol, the birthplace of country music. A.P. Carter and his family from Poor Valley started out singing gospel music at church meetings. The local radio station was inviting people to audition to sing on the air. It was kind of like that scene from O oh Brother, Where Art Thou? All right, boys, follow my lead. Hello. Who's the hot show around here? I am. Who are you? Uh, well, sir, I'm Jordan Rivers, and these here are the Soggy Bottom Boys out of Cottonelia, Mississippi. Songs of salvation to salve the soul. Uh, we hear that you pay good money to sing into a can. Well, the Carter family was a hit and became known as the first family of country music. Theirs is the oldest recording we'll sample today, River of Jordan from 1928. <laughs> Yeah. 
When the Carter family started getting royalty payments, one of the first things Sarah and Mother Maybell purchased was a pair of matching Harley Davidson motorcycles. Sounds like a good plan to me. Up the crooked road, a little ways from Poor Valley, is the home of Ralph Stanley. He was awarded an honorary doctorate in music from Lincoln Memorial University of Harrogate, Tennessee in 1976, so he was known as Dr. Stanley from then on. The Stanley brothers were among the first generation of bluegrass musicians, but gospel music was always part of their life. Here he is singing, When I Wake Up to Sleep No More, in traditional mountain style. Mm, what a glad thought, some wonderful morning, just to hear Gabriel's trumpet sound. When I wake up, well, wake up to sleep no more, sleep no more. rising to meet, meet our blessed Redeemer, with a glad shout I'll leave the ground. When I and trials bound for the city up on high when I wake up to sleep no more sleep no more when I wake up some glad morning sleep no more jewels adorning I'll be over in glory the beautiful show telling a story with the redeemed of all the ages praising the one who I adore when I wake up point on the Crooked Road is at Grayson Highland State Park. Folks come here from all over the world every year when the park hosts the Wayne Henderson Music Festival. Here are the Queeb sisters at the Grayson Highland stage doing Wayfaring Stranger. I'm going there to 
the mountain from Grayson Highland sits the little town of Galax, home to the oldest old-time fiddler's convention in America. The music of a Virginia boy named Mac Wiseman has been a feature there as far back as anyone can remember. He was born in 1925 in Cremora, Virginia, and contracted polio at age six months. After his illness, he was unable to work in the fields, so he spent his time in childhood listening to old records. He must have learned pretty well by listening to them. He went on to play with Flatt and Scruggs, Bill Monroe, and many others. Here he is singing solo, By the Side of the Road. People who would rather live in splendor And brag about their silver and their gold And people who would trade God's promise For its glory to hold There are people who would rather live in mansions There are people who would rather live abroad But I'd rather have a little old cabin By the side of the road Than to be a king or a millionaire and live in mansions in bright array. I'd rather do a neighborly deed for a traveler here or a friend in need. I'd rather live by the side of the road. And help some pilgrim along life's way. A man is passing by And help to point some soul to Jesus And that city on high Every day I want to help to scatter roses Every night I want my lamp to shine abroad With the welcome from my little bay window By the side of the road I'd rather live by the side of the road And try to point soul to the blessed abode than to be a king or a millionaire and live in mansions in bright array. I'd rather do a neighborly deed for a traveler here or a friend in need. I'd rather live by the side of the road and help some pilgrims a long life's way. Heading east out of Galax on Highway 58, you don't want to overlook the little front porch gallery just this side of Hillsville. It's a shop owned by my friend Willard Gayhart, and it features many of his beautiful pencil drawings. Originally from Hazard, Kentucky, Willard has been part of the music scene along the Cricket Road for most of his 88 years. Here he is singing at the front porch with a group of friends called the Highlanders, walking in Jerusalem, just like John. Well, some come walking and some come lame. Walking in Jerusalem, just like John. Well, I come walking in Walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, John, oh, John. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. I'll meet you then at the break of thing. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to 
be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Jerusalem just like John. I'll meet it and let the first cross over. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Another singer who's been part of folk music circles for decades is Emmylou Harris. She was born into a military family, and that meant a lot of moves in her early life. But she went to high school right here in Virginia, and now she's in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Here she is with Precious Memories.
Let's see. I did mention that Highway 58 goes all the way to Virginia Beach, didn't I? The Tidewater area also has a long tradition of a cappella gospel quartets. One of the best such groups is the Paschal Brothers. They came by their craft early in life, learning from their father, who also happened to be their pastor. They're on the right road now. God said he would move. God said he would move. God said he would move. Everything. Everything. Every, every, every little thing. God said he would move. Like most of the folks on this list, the Pastel Brothers sometimes sing at the Richmond Folk Festival. Theirs isn't the only style of gospel there, however. Here to sing us out in gospel style is Sister Maggie Ingram, as recorded at the 2009 Richmond Folk Festival. Every face is so beautiful. And I know it's because of this God I'm talking about. 